Welcome back out to Frisco, Texas. We're here at the Omni Hotel where the Bison football team is hunkered down and preparing for their kickoff for the national championship game. That Our Friday in Frisco is nearly to an end here, and it really has that Christmas-like feeling as the anticipation has really come to a head here as North Dakota State prepares to take on Montana State. It's a game that pits the second-seeded Bison against the eighth-seeded Bobcats, but those seedings don't really do nearly enough to really capture everything that's coming to a head between these two programs. So much history that will play out on the football field tomorrow in just over 12 hours from now. It's going to be challenging on both sides of the ball. They got really good players. Very Brent's done an unbelievable job coaching this group up, and um, he's done a, an outstanding job getting getting them to believe in maybe some new things that they're trying to accomplish, and uh, they're seeing the, the benefits of it. The Bison have most recently ended the Bobcats season in both 2018 and 19, but a new head coach has this proud Big Sky team looking and playing a little different. This is defensively, I think they're playing at a different level. Um, a lot of familiar names, a lot of you can see a lot of development, a lot of growth has happened since then. And they've made adjustments on offense as well. You know, they're doing a great job, especially, you know, with the addition of the quarterback run game and a lot of the gap scheme out of it, they're going to force you to have to maybe water down some calls, but you have to be really precise in some of your run fits and uh, from a defensive standpoint to be able to get them off the field. Some of those adjustments look similar to what the FCS expects of North Dakota State, and it makes sense with that new man in charge, former Bison offensive coordinator Brent Vegan. It's going to be a, a game of uh, two teams that play very similar styles, both uh, offensively and defensively, value very much uh, the same things when it comes to you know how you go about winning football games. Now, what Coach Enns pointed out is what he thinks really makes these teams so similar is the energy that these teams both play with and the discipline that they bring into their game each and every week. He says those are the things that make both of these teams so incredibly hard to beat. Now, there's some good news for the Bison this week, especially on the injury front. Coach Entz saying today that Nash Jensen, Jalen Sundell will be back in the lineup on, in the, on that offensive line, and Christian Watson making his long-awaited return to the football field. Now, the senior receiver suffered a hamstring injury before the playoffs. He's yet to make an appearance in this year's playoff run. He warmed up before that semifinal game against James Madison, but ultimately, well, sat out for that one. He is now expected to make his return coach and saying today he expects to see the senior receiver play in his final game with the Bison. Watson himself speaking about playing outside of practice today, telling some of his former teammates that he'll be out there and he'll be suiting up with the Bison for that national championship game. It's a game where the Bison are undefeated here in Frisco, Texas. They look for their ninth national championship tomorrow that game kicking off at 11 a.m. that game on ESPN 2 our live coverage done for the night but it continues tomorrow as we'll have all of your post game needs on Valley News Live at 6 and 10. We'll see you there reporting live in Frisco. We'll toss it to break. We'll be back with a bit more.